There's a squirrel right there. I know. I know. Oh boy. Y'all ready? Uh, Detroit, by the way. Yeah. Detroit is a uh, Aquatic Dream joint. So, Omicron, Indigo Prophecy, Heavy Rain, uh, Beyond Two Souls. Prepare yourselves. That's what we're in for. Again, I would uh, I would very much encourage you all to play along with the bingo board. Because just like we did for Beyond Two Souls, definitely going to get that going. Sure. Thank you. Now select your profile. Already you can kind of tell how far David Cage has come from Indigo Prophecy. Because Indigo Prophecy began with David Cage in-game in a director's chair telling you about Indigo Prophecy. Also, what the fuck? What the fuck? What? 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 A difficulty level? Immersive gameplay with advanced controls. A fair challenge where mistakes can mean loot... That seems like a lie. That seems like a huge lie. More forgiving challenge with fewer chances to lose a character. This is a lie. I don't trust this. Oh, by the way, sign is displayed. Please do not turn if you're like, console. Dave, why aren't you giving this a chance? You, you should be more open-minded. I've lived through Remember, many David Cage games. I'm not, not falling for his shit story. again. So this I'm hoping that this game is great. I am not expecting it to be so. I'm not open-minded to it being so. I'm going into this with the attitude of, this is going to be a trash fire. Prove me wrong. Instead of, I don't know how this is going to be. It might be good or bad. I gave Heavy Rain a chance. I gave Indigo Prophecy a chance. I gave Beyond Two Souls a chance. Fool me three times? Nah. Again, I'm hoping it's good. I I am not going to labor under that expectation, though. Kneel down for fish. Fuck yes. Please, please, no, please, no, please. I don't care about your little girl. I want the fish. Wait. Uh, so this is a, a sci-fi game set in Detroit, and it's about androids. Uh, and the androids are allegories for slaves and for uh, black people during the civil rights movement. Cool, I can finally deal with this fish. Process the data. Save the fish. Uh, also, if that premise sounds super familiar, Blade Runner was a movie already. Consult your objectives. Find Captain Allen. Will do. Let me cross. No, I don't want to cross in the bathroom. Bow in here. If only now this is going to be the best part of the game. Oh, I'm literally restricted, and I guess our Android buddy has, like, a UI HUD telling him that this zone is restricted to him, this android. You are yellow. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. Looks a little like, uh, David. It already shot down two of my men. We're playing we David Cross bingo? No, we're playing David Cage bingo. If it falls, she falls. 
Can we cross off Blade Runner reference? No, it just kind of lifted the whole premise. This is Deviant's behavior, Deviant's name. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Oh, lots of it's being thrown around. To determine the best approach. Because you see, the androids, they're not humans. You know what is name? its name? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. 48% chance of success. Understand what happened. Save hostage at all costs. Okay. This already controls better than Beyond Two Souls, so I'm happy about that. Oh, cool. Like, here's the thing. I would like this to be good. I'm never gonna root for the plane that I'm on to crash. But if it does crash, I hope it I, I hope it's a real No, this is this analogy has gotten away from me right away. Okay. Then we also have you. 355, ammunition, reconstruct. Do I have to hold triangle for this still? E no. Is this like remember me where I scrub through the memory or like the uh, the uh, um the uh, the construction of the event? And then this is the important part, I guess. This is kind of cool. That was also the best part of remember me. Ah, oh, that's neat. Like I'm not above giving credit where credit is due or giving props when I see something cool. I'm not going to be that petty that I just lie about my experience with the game. Again, I'm just very pessimistic about it. And I'm going into this with the intention of roasting it. <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 cool. So I now understand things better and the probability of successfully negotiating with the hostage has gone up to 51. Or the, uh... The hostage taker. And there was a big yellow over here. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually really fucking cool. Yeah, LA Noir him. <laughs> oh, here we go. Deceased Phillips John. Alrighty. Lower lung hemorrhage, internal bleeding. It was shot with a gun the android picked up. There it is. Shot multiple times. Oh, there's another one. Fatal abdominal trauma. Reconstruct. Detroit become as gods. Father was holding something. Does it mean scrub back? Yeah! Yeah! Wait, maybe not. Oh, it's scrubbing back to see where the thing landed. Oh, cool. Lavish deluxe apartment already. I'm a dumbass. You're right. You are right. Take. Oh, swipe the touchpad. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool way to interact with that. Detroit may be the name of a character. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've unlocked the dialogue for a action beneficial. 
Often beneficial, rather. That caught me off guard. By the way, how is the audio balance? Is the game too loud, too quiet? What's up? Oh yeah, I can go in these rooms now. So there is this room. By the way, uh, who said that before? I don't know, I can't see now. Uh, the game is set in Detroit. Wait, is that locked until I get a thing? Okay. Couple of things going on here. Police don't work like that. The android would be dead like ten times over for firing at an officer, says Demon. Uh, I'm willing to maybe suspend disbelief a little bit for that. This is Daniel Bot. Damn, Daniel Bot. You got yourself into a hostage situation, Daniel Bot. No good. No good. Cool. I did a good job. This is still a no-go zone. Still a no-go zone. Is there anything that I missed in here? And is it always going to be... Oh, wait. Is that thing in the other room? Yes. Holy shit, there's a bunch of stuff. Analyze. Analyze cube. There's a dead officer on the fucking floor. I know. I'm looking at him. Gunshot residue. Big bullet wound. There's our Blade Runner reference. Decker. There's the Blade Runner reference. We're doing pretty good on this bingo board. For this being the first scene. Wait, is there a certain point on the yellow that I want to be in? Oh, the camera. Okay. Cool. Hostage witness the shooting. Okay. Oh, neat. Cop shot the deviant. Oh, the gun went flying. No, get the gun. Yeah, I'll take it. I gotta be strapped. Century. This is not Time Magazine. It's all holographic. So there's a bunch of... What am I supposed to glean from the pressure cooker? Oh god, is it a bomb? Turn off! Why is this a prompt? Family was about to have dinner. Okay, 75%. What about over here? No, fuck off. Don't turn me around like this. Unmute. Unmute. Un- Why is this tied to the camera control? F 
fuck? On... Am, is that swipe up? Yeah. I'm dumb. Oh, I'm bored by this. Okay, if I go over there... Why did my odds of success go down 1%? Every second counts. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll get that little twirl. What are we waiting for? We should take analyze. A uh, analyze. What? That can't be the best way to analyze fluids at a crime scene. Like, why? But why, though? Excuse me, sir, but why? Tiny shoe. Hostage could be wounded. One last sweep. Alrighty. Oh yeah, pretty wounded. Oh yeah, Dorothy from Valhalla could do DNA analysis with her tongue. Stay back. Don't come any closer. Do you see the LED on his temple flash red? Does that indicate distress or damage because this hostage taker bot also had a red flashing LED? I was just about to say, I know many things, sarcastically. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't actually see, uh, chat. Approach slowly. Empathize. Yeah, empathize. Just like you. I know how you're feeling. What difference does it make if you're an android? You're on their side. The water effects look great. Are you armed? Yeah, I'm gonna yes. establish trust. I have a gun. Uh, how is Drop the it. audio balance, by the way? No sudden moves or I'll shoot. Hey, XDJ. There. Yeah, this paid off. No more gun. It really paid off. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. Yeah. I thought she. Because we were good investigators. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no. No, Daniel. That water looks great. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just. If I play Curse of the Moon, no. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. These emotions. No, you have so fault. many polygons, therefore, you have so many emotions, I Daniel. Know. This water has a lot of polygons. It is very emotional water. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Okay. I will tell the helicopter to leave so you don't have so many emotions. Am I gonna play Vampire? On my own, yeah. Last chance. Trust? You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Deviant stabilizing. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. 
Um. That's impossible. Compromise. Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. Good. Reassure. You're not going to die. You're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. Yeah, you we did it. One hundred percent. Okay. I trust you. They're gonna shoot him as soon as he lets the girl go. And Connor is gonna feel terrible. This is super not how police work. You lied to me, Connor. Correct. You lied. I got a software instability? We did it. I'm the best. It is how the police work when the when the person in question has no human rights. What is this? Is this our tell end of a telltale episode thing? This is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Wow, so once upon a time, David Cage said he doesn't want people to replay his games. So they couldn't see how things were stitched together, but now this is almost encouraging that. Because it's like, oh, I wonder how this would have played out differently if I did X, Y, and Z. And you can follow the flowchart to its branches to see that now. Huh. I mean, I'm I'm really skeptical about how much of a difference or how different these scenes would have been had I chosen other options. But my gut reaction is it's kind of impressive how much this does branch. I don't know if that's all fake. Like I don't know if I replay this and I chose the other branches if they would be the same scenes with the most minor of alterations. World stats. Get close enough. Be honest about the gun. Only 20% of people were honest about the gun? Lie to the deviant. Build trust. People suck at negotiating. Sniper shot deviant. One of those options was self-sacrifice. So does that mean I dive off the roof with damn Daniel? This scene is actually pretty divergent. Some of them are more linear. Oh, okay. Barely different. This is not any of the Zero Escape games where branching plots are the plot. We need Dave to play Zero Escape now. By Zero Escape, is that like, um... Uh, uh... 999 and those games? Virtue's Last Reward? Is that that series? Anyway, let's keep going. This scene is self-contained. Really? Oh, I'm in a store. I'm being purchased. It's all revisions and memory reset. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And diamonds. And handles the kids' homework. Elementary school up to university level. Can I help? Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly. Look at that creepy sex pervert. He's gonna be my new owner. None of these people are buying me. It's gonna be him. Oh wait, no, it might be this guy and his wife. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night. It switches to surveillance mode. Contacts emergency services if there's a break in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? Nope, it's gonna be him. He's my owner now. Come along. It's like the parallels to a slave auction are not lost on anyone, right? There it is. This is what Android uh, Androids in sci fi have 
usually been the car hit it. It's like slavery allegories, right? See. Anyway, not always, but it, had to reset it. Meaning a lot of the time. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400. Register your name. Also, eight thousand dollars. My name is Kara. Yeah, I mean that's just straight up a slave auction. Right down to giving them new names, wiping their old ones and giving them new names. Jesse Williams. No. I don't know how to think about these things being $8,000. Because on one hand, this is 2040 something, which is absurd, by the way. Like, it's almost 2020. Do we expect androids in the next 20 years? Do we expect fully functioning AI? No, come on. Uh, but aside from that, In this world where Detroit is this thriving uh, megalopolis. Or maybe not. We still have some urban decay. Uh, where things are, I don't know, on the surface pretty peachy. For the humans at least. No, I'm wrong. Androids took my job! All oh, this damn androids. Fuck off. Oh, there's still parts of Detroit there, shitholes. So the android boom didn't completely revitalize the entire city. Like I thought. Because I was going to say, if everything is like utopian and everyone just has tons of cash and Detroit is, you know, rich because of the android boom and androids have become mass producible somehow. I don't know if 8,000, and like, we also have to take account of, into account inflation. I don't know. It's the girl from before. I don't know if 8,000 sounds like completely unreasonable. Like, my gut is telling me that's way too goddamn low. But, uh, I'm not gonna make a, a big stink about that. Again, it's something I can suspend disbelief for one way or the other. This is pretty cool, the LED green paneling on the, uh, on the floor. To indicate when the the stoplight or the the crosswalk is is green. Go to Bellini Paints. Bellini Paints is not this way. St. Clair Cafe. Oh, hey, homeless man. There's definitely going to be a noble homeless man in this game. Also, I expected this to be way more gentrified. They care for our own. Yo, dude, what's up? Son of a bitch, that's so on the nose. I know who you are. I can see through you. This you is so the on the nose. Oh, the one who will destroy Detroit. Oh, this is gross too. We prefer to live with machines than with our own kind. Technology. Oh, this is God. so gross. It was supposed to serve man. But it is becoming 
Our new master. Ugh. Blini Paints is not this way. Fuck right off. Blini Paints is not this way. Blini Paints is over to my right. Oh shit, movie posters. Please tell me one of them is for a David Cage game. And a Maverick. And the Lost Kings. After Mankind 3021. Invasion. That's a pretty cool poster, actually. Raken, the Last Guardian. The Target. Some of these actually look like real ass movies, so props to them. The artists who made those up. Bellini Paints! Can I go any further past Bellini Paints? Hello, noble homeless man. Ah, oh, no. My android senses will not let me. We put the hand in and we take the hand out. It's quite the store. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Oh hey, the and LEDs confirm. are also Apple Pay chips. <laughs> What do you mean all androids are shapeshifters, demon? Also, if the menfolk find out we can shapeshift, they're going to call the church. Fucking nostril! Oh. No, that's not better. Get yours today. Oh shit, what's going on over here? Oh my god, the boss. I cannot wait for the boss. Cause I've heard some things. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. There's the Robo Slur. Actually, what was it in uh, in Battlestar Galactica? It was was BSG toasters? I really like toasters as an android slur or a robot slur. Why are you doing this? I don't feel pain. I was trying to leave. What do you mean, kick me out of here? You go to work. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. All right. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Police yeah, aren't attacking the minority. Police are not attacking the minority. Police do not work next. that way. I found it. I'm not actually going to mark the bingo board off for that. I'm actually sort of relieved that this went down this way. Also, these protests are such complete horseshit. Is this... This is an, a designated android zone outside of the bus shelter. compartment at the back of the bus! Oh my god! David Cage! 
Some writers use subtlety, but they are cowards. <laughs> Subtext has no place in emotion. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, this bitch is called Shades of Color! What the fuck? If you have to play the game. I didn't think we were going to get something like this this early. I knew about the back of the bus thing. I did not think it would be this bad. I didn't think it would be this bad. Oh my god. So I know of a few things. Nothing specific, but enough that, mmm, public opinion is skeptical. That's why the androids stand at the back of the bus. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. David Cage. David Cage, why are you like this? So, that's at least one out of our three uh, direct parallels to civil rights and or slavery in the U.S. In order to check the bingo board off. Oh my god. This has reminded me a lot of Heavy Rain. Ethan's broke down shitty home. They brings Sean to? You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. His divorced dad pad? You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take Dude, care Dude, you of are skis. God damn it, where the fuck's the Big skis. Alice! Alice! Oh, oh there you are. That's Alice. I lost my ch Is that the kid from oh, the hostage back. situation? Oh, crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Is that hostage girl? Dude, this is the exact same house. This is Ethan's house from Heavy Rain. And I'm going to be doing a bunch of random shit around the house. God damn it. This is the same structure as Heavy Rain. TV on. This might not be the exact same house, but it's very similar. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. I cannot believe that back of the bus thing. The dishwasher is not yeah, yeah. working. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll Component get ordered. Can I just do that? Like, whose money am I spending to fix the washing machine that I wasn't told to fix? What? Oh, God, I had to tilt the DS4. 
<laughs> I'm swiping the touchpad to scrub a plate. Fucking Christ. Hello, creepy child. I can't wait for her to speak and for her to have a, a, a French child actor. Like, is she spending his money? I would assume so, right? It's, he's not going to be happy about that. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. I'm like five feet away. Chill. Can I robo pee in your beer? Can I leave you a, a, a robo upper decker? What game do you have on? Hold on. No, I'm way more in, invested in this now. It's super low res, but I kind of want to watch this. Now get out of here. By the way, the Kings are up uh, by one game in the Stanley Cup Finals. Which, hell yeah, I'm rooting for them all the way through. That would be an amazing story. Did I say the Kings? No, Vegas. Uh, Vegas is up by one game. Anyway. I think I said the Kings, which is wrong. It's one GIF, I think. Gifing continues. Oh, we had to cut away from the GIF. Get the fuck out of here! No, I love hockey, Todd. I will not get back to work, Todd. You had your robot turn the robot on! Also, that Roomba seems like garbage. Aw. Look at the hostage play with the Roomba. Right oh. Why is she always pushing me? Who? Pushing. Uh, I'm gonna go get that shit. Oh, it's a magazine. All sports. All sports all the time. Android power. Should it be allowed? Football frenzy. The latest transfer speculations. I like these hollow magazines. It's third game of the season. Android pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke the 125 mile, uh, the 120 mile per hour mark. How did I read 125? The human batsman wasn't able to swing until after the ball had already reached a catcher's glove. Androids were introduced as a one-per-team innovation, but they've come to dominate team strategy. Every draft sees a major professional baseball teams breaking their own transfer records to purchase these latest Android models. But is the game suffering? Why would they ever implement this? Jenny Waterfield, head of the fanzine Home Run, says the fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of the sport is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. But not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball pundit and ex-pitcher, thinks androids are making games more exciting. These machines are shaking things up, pushing players to do even better. A game can only survive by evolving. Cool, what else do we have? I'm trying to swipe left and right. I'm swiping! I'm swiping so hard! There we go. <clears throat> Century. Transport innovation shaking up California politics and focus. Our American center is really corrupt? Yes. Yup. Jesus Christ, China earthquake kills 10,000 people. What the fuck? Also, yeah, Demon has an excellent point. He couldn't activate the vacuum the whole time he was gone. Like, I almost understand the rest of him being a trash man. But damn. Damn. 
You really are the hugest slob. Oh, I have to take it back around. <clears throat> Ace, I'm going to be charitable and say that they aren't explicitly drawing a parallel between the first android in baseball and Jackie Robinson. They didn't really seem to be going for that angle. I think. If they were, it's at least somewhat subtle. Maybe, I don't know. I'm willing to give that the benefit of the doubt. That seems less overt than androids sit at the back of a bus. No, I think it's just like an app on a tablet, Van Links, that shows like a holographic magazine. Get out of the way, Roomba. I can't even walk in this zone while Roomba-chan is there. Am I taking out front? Roomba-chan! Oh, I swear to God, Roomba-chan. Roomba-chan, make a left turn, please. By the way, now I ship Kara and Roomba-chan. Hack says, this is what Nier Automata would be if humans survived. <laughs> Urgent tasks. Took out trash. Look at these evil spires in the background. Oh, androids go to back of bus. Go to back of bus again, androids. We just fucking saw that happen. Bus drive away. Fuck, man. <laughs> Report to Todd. I could also check the backyard. <clears throat> Let's do that. To the garden. Oh, the laundry. Cool. Is that a French maid out? No, that's just a hoodie. Right? So am I rewashing all this shit that was hung out to dry? <clears throat> oh hey hostage. Sup? Wanna go play laundry ho what, like this is the most white trash lawn! literally had neighbors like this. The same neighbor who had a deer carcass just sitting out, chilling in his backyard. Just hanging out. I like this, this kind of awkward stare down that I'm having. Kind of digging that. Just stare at her. Oh, yeah, 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 she saw. Don't break eye contact, though. You got this child shook. This kid is shook. She won't maintain eye contact. You're in her head. Psych her out. Tell her you have power over her now. This kid's legit shook. How's the weather, child? It's not very nice out. You might catch Converse with me like humans. I can get you a sweater if you want. 
<clears throat> oh gosh, she gonna be shitty Jody from Beyond? Aren't How's school? How was being a hostage? I did not get to play game. That is a shame. <clears throat> cool, now I get to do laundry as a bonus objective. <clears throat> do you wish to play game, human child? She did not. What the hell is that? Red ice, acetone, lithium, therium. I didn't see the T1. Hydrochloric acid. Big danger! Peter Storm airface approaching. High on future crack. Red ice is a really, really good narcotic name. Also, why did you store your drugs in your laundry detergent? So this red ice is just like lithium and acetone. Which seems like it would definitely kill you. Also, I guess it's supposed to be future meth? Future love sex meth? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna guess if you mix those specific things together and then snort and or smoke them, you'll just die. They are super not compatible, I'm guessing. If you watch, you can see Todd smoke some. Yup. Out of the way. Oh, and the smoke's sake. red. I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. No, I'm gonna make it happen again. Oh, there he goes. He's smoking this future crack. Smoke the cyberpunk meth. Forbidden. Todd is smoking the future crack. Ah! That looks ter terrible. I had a hiccup. He's even got his own crack pipe. What a responsible father. Wow. Oh, there's a thing over there I gots to do. I got reports to Todd. Toddo. Todaruski. I think you could start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do and stop bothering me. I'm already so much madder than I was watching The Best Friends. Oh, why is that? <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I will clean upstairs. Optional task. Clean bathroom. Tidy Todd's room. Tidy Alice's room. Hold up. Application rejected. Overdue. Invoice. Things are going bad. <clears throat> okay, I have a big question here. So Todd's whole place is kind of a shithole and he's uh, kind of a drug-addled scumbag. How did he afford to just plop 8,000 in cash down on Kara. 
Because it doesn't seem like he has money. Because holy shit. Like, nah. Fucking vinyls? All sports. Android Kubi. Cyberlife unveils Android quarterback. Slam dunk basketball star Gary Gibbons interview. I know the sports of America. <laughs> Capable of throwing from end zone to end zone. Sports. Tech Addict, The Price of Life, How Driverless Vehicles Make Life and Death Decisions. Space Tourism, Is Mars Your Next Holiday Destination? Uh-huh, yada yada yada. I already kind of know about all this shit. Wait, re really? We're going to read this? Can I not pick this back up for real? Video, okay, video game, come on now. I didn't think it would be worth reading, since that technology's kind of already understood. Let me read the goddamn Hollow magazine. You missed the subtle metaphor of a man of color talking to an android. Wait, do you mean the android quarterback? Or... Uh-oh, they got him mixed up. <clears throat> Yeah, they did. They did. Okay. When a driverless vehicle for season accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of two pedestrians to hit, but the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. Uh, that's not true. Martin Forlong of Crown Cars tries to clarify in this situation the car's imaging system gathers data deter to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, Life expectancy, etc. in the blink of an eye. This data is parsed through the public record to, quote, determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. We put a premium on lives that will save other lives, like doctors and nurses. This is the most wild thing I've ever heard. Thank you for telling me not to dismiss this wild bullshit. All this may sound very reasonable. It does not! What? What do you mean? None of that sounds cool! But Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League, says the system has no right to make such judgments. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gamble. But for long dismisses, but for long dismisses such claims, we want our cars to make the best possible choices, and that means acting on the basis of all the information they can gather. The more, the better. I'm gonna give David uh, David Cage huge credit here, because this is actually kind of brilliant, and there is a real world parallel that makes this all the more scary and poignant. Whoops. Uh, and that is the kind of social ranking system that China is rolling out right now. Holy shit! What a ride! Oh, this may sound very reasonable back of the box quote. Jesus Christ! Hold on. Whoop. What are these for? Antidepressant. Tyaneptine? No! No! Don't close the drawer, Kara! No! No! It's not good. <laughs> Uh, 
Now we're just gonna gloss over the gun near the pills? The social credit score. Yes, that's it, Hack and Sands. Ventilate room. And now to sports. First up, basketball. Oh god. The Gears is a good name. The Detroit Gears. Dude, that's such a good name, especially for a Detroit team. A staff writer could have come up with that. I, I don't really care. All that matters is it's in the game, and it was written by somebody who worked on it. So I will give total credit for that. That's really good. Oh my god! This is the thing in every goddamn David Cage game! Is you can watch a TV, and there's a weird French cartoon that you can watch. Also, I swear for a second, I thought the TV brand was MAGA. But it's, I think, Magza? Dude, I'm down for this. <clears throat> I'm down for weird French anime. Sure. No, never mind. I just remembered Code Lyoko. Is this just gonna be a whole episode? Like how you can watch what is it, Gone with the Wind? In uh Or is it Casablanca? In uh in the darkness? According to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure What That is apocalyptic Do you say in Detroit or in the entire country employment is at forty percent? What? Go back! No, go back! Why are the channels switching automatically? I want to go back to the 40% unemployment rate! Oh man, I don't give a shit about this. The economy is doing exceptionally well, except for the 40% unemployment rate?! For those who don't already think that is outrageous, keep in mind that when the employment rate goes above 10% nowadays, people lose their minds. 40% is apocalyptic. 40% is when you just scrap the system altogether and go Full socialism and just implement manda uh, not mandatory uh, um, guaranteed universal income you can just go okay okay no D nobody needs a job anymore y'all have a universal basic income oh boy oh boy the wolves are right all Gill's door and the people we still need oh you'll st you'll you'll get paid more because you'll have jobs but the wall oh, geez the ones who don't, oh. Universal basic income would actually be the best thing in this world. A world in which 40% of people are unemployed. They're really going ham on making the point that androids are stealing the gerbs. Because That's the most wild thing ever, and I do not know if I can honestly suspend disbelief for that. Jesus, holy God. Like, that's straight up the collapse of society. Oh my God. I am reeling from that. Man, the one-two punch of cars rank you by <laughs> your status. 
and 40% unemployment. Wait, how does the <laughs> like all <laughs> almost half of people are unemployed? So how does <laughs> how does <laughs> how do the self-driving cars rank you by your status? Everyone is unemployed. Does the car maneuver to hit both of the unemployed people? It's like, no, I can't choose. I have to hit them both. <laughs> Does it swerve so the hood hits one and the trunk hits the other? Also, wouldn't an android be a much better doctor than a human doctor? Yes! So what do you mean people with important professions like doctors? <laughs> Why did we program the androids to steal our jobs? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Where are people getting the money for androids? <laughs> <laughs> what is <laughs> No really how is this a booming metropolis but also half of people are unemployed but also they can afford all of the androids that are being mass produced because people are demanding them so the supply is rising to meet the demand, but also people are poor as shit because nobody has jobs. What? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh, also the Detroit Crimson Sharks is a much worse name than the Gears. Anyway, let's ventilate the room. Holy shit. Manderson, what do you mean you have to pay androids? No, you don't. That's not true. Okay, the only way. Also, apparently, like, hockey got super popular in the future. Like, I'm down with this. Everyone's... Ev like, nobody has jobs, but everybody has apparently tons of money. And there are androids. And everybody loves hockey. This is a cool future, I guess. Oh, man. Dim, what's his name have to pay for the paint? I'm assuming he used his owner's money. Why would you buy an android to pay it? That also doesn't really fit in with the slavery parallels. Oh, Jesus. The only way I'm going to accept that is if in a later scene we find out that everybody has a universal ba uh, basic income. Because wow, 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 wow. Fuck off, Todd. Don't wait, Todd. I don't like you, Todd. So, uh, if you look over at the bingo card, which on Twitch, if you, you can see if you scroll down, you can kind of see which tiles Todd is going to wind us, uh, wind up helping us mark off. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to it. Gonna get real gross. Man, we'll do a big bingo update at the end of the stream. Which, I don't know when that's gonna be. Jesus goddamn, dude. Oh my. Oh. I am torn between whether or not I like this or not right now. Because there is some real dumb shit. Oh boy, this is not good. Why would you make me 
use the touchpad like this when it does not respond perfectly to this motion. We have done it. Now we move on to child's room. Hands up and hands now. Back up, back up. Okay, well, what do you like about it? Wow, that's a cool fort. Hold on. Is that okay, Alice? Uh, the opening scene was pretty good. And it's, I don't know, it's not awful so far. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Like, the themes are, are just boilerplate uh, android cyberpunk right now. But every now and then they slip something pretty clever in, like the, uh, the self-driving cars thing. Determining which pedestrian to hit if necessary by social status. But then you just have so many fists made of ham. What a great fort! This child's a fort prodigy. I wish I could have made a fort that cool when I was a kid. Damn. This child is channeling all of her angst about her dad being a scumbag in a creative fort building. Unlocked. Ooh. We have ventilated the child's room. Neil. Also, what is with this fabric? Diplomatic. Used to live here, but they erased is this like a rubber apron? I thought maybe you could help me get my bearings. Why is Give me some advice. it's okay. so shiny? You seem quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Oh <laughs> boy. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? Did she die in a tragic accident? Neutral. Your father I'm Kara. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? Man, fuck this kid. Uh, okay. Cool. Man, I genuinely think David Cage does not understand tiny, small humans. Which I guess, fair enough. Nobody does. They're like, f constantly fluid ejecting monsters. Oh, happy family. That is not that child. <clears throat> she is hurt and sad. <laughs> now her dad is in the Russian Mafia. Now his dad is in the Russian Mafia and slapping an android. Now the android has one arm. And everyone is sad. Big distress. That's my distress flare LED. Dodd's formal tracksuit. Okay. 
I have to report to Todd for instructions. I almost said report to Todd for destruction. <laughs> I want her to do 16's uh, level 3 super uh, I'm from DBFC. Play. I know what you're thinking. Oh, fuck off. No, That's come on. Life. No. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job. Take care of his family. Don't you think Dude, I to be fair, to you, like, if 40% of people are unemployed, so nobody's looking at people who are unemployed like, ah, oh, loser, get a job. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Dude, fuck this. You hate me! This is gross. God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. You Pulling it back a little bit. I am I still you. skeeved. Mm. Yeah, I'm still pretty skeeved on that whole scene. <laughs> Unlock Kara C's gun. Kara discovers a way down. Did I do all the things? That's not a flow chart. That's just... Okay. Alice warm. Public not. Oh, I'm finally back from getting harassed by the mob. I'm willing to bet the Red Ice is part of a population control government conspiracy that also lie uh, that also ties into the crack epidemic in the 70s and 80s. Well, the crack epidemic had less to do with the government trying to assert control over inner city black neighborhoods and more to do with uh, the government viewing black people as uh, disposable and saying, hey, we can flood uh, we can flood the streets in black neighborhoods with guns and drugs in order to finance our dirty war and uh, uh, finance uh, Samosa and, and the Nicaraguan Contras. Like, it was the whole Iran-Contra scandal. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, there we go. Ooh, piano. Like, basically, we were... Funding the Contras using uh, drug money and and running guns in uh, on U.S. streets. Try how do I? Oh, there we go. Because we wanted the Contras to overthrow the Sandinista government of Nicaragua, because they uh, because they were communists. And we couldn't just go in because we didn't have an excuse to start a war there. So instead we had uh, a dirty war financed by the CIA letting uh, Nicaraguan Contras sell guns and drugs in black neighborhoods. Because again, government didn't give a shit and frankly still does not about black people. So it's like, hey, hey, keep this out of the suburbs, keep this out of the white neighborhoods. But hey, if you want to sell some crack, if you want, if you want to run guns in black neighborhoods, 
and then use the money to fight the Sandinistas, go ahead. If you remember right, Zootopia was a big allegory for that. I never saw Zootopia. Is... Wait, are you for real? Is Zootopia about the Iran-Contra scandal? This is disgustingly lavish house. But it's also, I think, where we're going to leave off for tonight. Because I am super tired and I have not slept in over 24 hours. <clears throat> so, um, first impressions. This isn't bad so far. There are a couple of details that are really ludicrous and it's real on the nose. Zootopia is about drugs and population control. Okay, I think I have to see Zootopia. I think I have to see Zootopia now. I think I'm going to put that on as I fall asleep and then wake up and finish it tomorrow. It gets a lot more ridiculous. Ah, boy. Looking forward to that. Uh, so... Did Dave say he's been streaming for 24 hours? No, I've just been awake for 24 hours. No, Demon, I'll figure out a better way to do the bingo updates. I'll figure something out before the next one. Uh, by the way, the next stream for Detroit is probably going to be not this coming Tuesday, but next Thursday. I should probably lay this out better. Okay, so... The normal Tuesday game is going to be Singularity. The normal... Thursday game is going to be Detroit from now on. However, this Thursday, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to do Bit Trip Runner 3 on Thursday. And then next week, we'll start the new schedule, except we're not streaming Tuesday. Uh, and the reason we're not streaming Tuesday is because I'm going to be too exhausted from doing Gami. Gami is this weekend, guys. Gami starts on June 2nd. There's going to be a little bit more info. Uh, just as a reminder, tomorrow. Uh, but this week and going into next week, you know, today we had Detroit. Thursday, we will have Bit Trip Runner 3. Saturday and Sunday are Gami. Yeah, we get to play Monster Prom. Uh, oh, Dungeon, it's Gaming Against Mental Illness, my uh, 25 plus hour charity live streaming marathon. So that will be uh, Saturday and Sunday. It's probably going to run about 30 hours, actually. Uh, there are going to be donation in incentives to extend the length of the stream. There's going to be a donation incentive to get a bonus mini marathon like we've done in the past, uh, which will be a 12-hour stream at some later date. There's going to be some other bonus bonus incentives. There is, literally is hundreds of dollars in prizes being raffled off. So if you donate, you can also win some cool prizes on top of uh, <clears throat> on top of just giving to a, a noble cause. So this is the third or fourth one you've done. I think this might be the fifth, but I'm not sure. It's fourth or fifth. <clears throat> but tons of prizes this year. Uh, I know we're giving God of War and a God of War limited edition loot crate box away. Uh, we are giving Destiny 2, Yakuza 6, uh, lots of other games away. We're giving away an entire Nintendo Switch as the grand prize. Uh, there's the pick an LP prize, so if you've ever wanted to request a game for me to LP, uh, you have to, you just have to donate and win that prize uh, at the end of the marathon. There are lots and lots of things being raffled off. This is all for a good cause. It's for the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. Uh, again, there's going to be another reminder with the full list of raffle prizes and some other cool details about stuff that we're doing. Uh, that video will go up tomorrow early in the afternoon, my time. And Gami kicks off at 8 a.m. EST on June 2nd. And it will go for 25 to 30 hours. 25 minimum. 30 is probably the max. Whew. So there's all that next week, following the week following Gami. 
There's not going to be a Tuesday stream. I'm going to be way too exhausted. Thursday, we'll play more Detroit. And then after that, we'll go, you know, rotate between Singularity and Detroit. <clears throat> Gami is during Pride. Yeah, it was last year, too, I believe. Because last year, I was at Combo Breaker during the last weekend uh, of May. So I did it the first weekend of June. <clears throat> it's going to be a good, good time. Uh, we are aiming once again to break $3,000. Uh, I think we've broken that every year. And I might have something very, very special. Uh, if we break 3000 again. And something maybe even more special... If we beat our all-time record, which I think was $3,300. <clears throat> you excited for your best boy to be there with you, too? Hell yeah, I am, Arth. Uh, we're going to have a couple people pop in and out, uh, actually. We are going to have, as Arth said, he's going to be on for a little bit during the late night block. Because uh, that's when our time zones line up. Uh, I think Ghost Wolf is going to be on. And maybe a couple of others, a couple of other guests. But again, a few more details to follow tomorrow. Just stay tuned. Uh, get your wallets ready. Start hitting up the relatives early and just make sure that they'll be able to, you know, make some kind of donation on Saturday and Sunday. Everything counts. Spread the word. Do what you can. And again, you know, ask, ask mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or your sister or whatever. You know, for five bucks, ten bucks, whatever they can ship in. And tell them uh, it goes to a noble cause. Also, tax-deductible donations. I'll have the donation link up tomorrow as well. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.